Hello, YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. So I'm reading this article about how this administration is so very proud, or the president was speaking on how he's so very happy and proud that he's putting the energy industry, you know, pretty much out in the street, pretty much shutting it down, uh, talking about how, how all of these coal plants are shutting down and that... Uh, also, all of these coal plants that haven't even been able to restart back after the health crisis, right? Because they shut down, in including refineries that, that were pumping out, you know, distillates, you know, diesel, gasoline, all that kind of stuff. Uh, they had to shut down because there wasn't that demand during the health crisis. Why? Well, I'll let you answer that question. Why there wasn't that much demand during the health crisis that some people are now saying, hey, let's just forgive and forget about all of the things that we made you do during that two-year period. Let's forgive and forget because everybody makes mistakes and we just didn't know what we were doing uh, at that time because it's some new science. But again, they were all telling us, follow the science, even though the science wasn't really right, uh, in my opinion. Right, this is all my opinion, but I started thinking to myself, How do you destroy a nation? Remember what Abraham Lincoln said? He said that you cannot, the, the United States will never fall to a foreign entity, that no invader that tries to invade the United States would ever succeed in the fall of the United States, but that the fall of the United States will come from within. And I'm thinking to myself while I'm reading that article, which kind of heated me up a little bit. This president talking about how all of these coal workers are going to be out of, out of jobs and stuff like that. And the asinine things that are spoken, ladies and gentlemen, is just incredible. It's like, it's, I stated in the past, either the people that are leading this country right now, they're either stupid, all right? they're either plain stupid with all of their PhDs, or they're doing it on purpose, or they're destroying our country on purpose. It's one or the other. Right? Because it, it can't be, you know, it can't be anything else because the things that are being done are just so dramatic. And there's so many other examples of other countries that have already tried the exact same things that we are going to try, but they've already failed. For example, one of the things on this article was the president talking about how we're going to replace all coal plants with wind and solar. Did he read or did anyone in his staff read that Germany is turning back to coal plants? That there's a whole bunch of countries within the EU turning back to coal plants and idling their wind and solar because it just doesn't work. And again, and I'll say this again so that if there's anyone here that's new, I love solar. I think solar is great, but it is something that is a good supplement to the energy that we already have. It's not something that we can rely on 100%. Just like a lot of these countries within the EU have realized that they cannot rely on wind and solar 100%, we will soon realize that as well. With this administration being the reason for all of these plants that have provided us with energy for all of these years to have to shut down, and their goal is to shut down the rest of them. For those of you that don't understand, for those of you that are still here and don't understand this part, is an economy equals fuel. Without fuel, you do not have an economy. Without an economy, especially here in the United States of America, where about 99% of businesses are small businesses owned by mom and pops, meaning that about 99% of the businesses are owned by the middle class. And that is what they're trying to destroy. I, I don't know where I read this, but I read this here not too long ago, within the last two or three days or so, that about 40% of all businesses, middle class businesses, mom and pop shops, they're shutting down permanently. They're not coming back. So anyways, I go back to my question to myself while I was reading this article. How do you destroy a country from within? Well, a great way to destroy it is to take over the education system where you teach little Johnny and little Sally that if their parents have a certain color skin, that they're bad. 
And then little Johnny and little Sally say, wait a minute. If my parents' skin is this color and they're bad, does that mean that I'm bad too because my skin is the same color? What kind of ridiculousness is this? How is it that we are going back in time? Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is all being done on purpose. And I forget who it was that said something about me on a video where they're like, AP, hey, how is it that you can say that this was all planned? How in the world can you say that it was not? They created a crisis that now, now they're saying, well, this, the things that we did for this health crisis, uh, you know, I, we understand that maybe they weren't the right decisions for us to make. Maybe we shouldn't have shut down the whole country. Maybe we shouldn't have locked down the schools because now we see that people are having problems and children are having problems mentally. And then the actions that they took were actions that they were waiting to see what the response of the people were. And the people, ladies and gentlemen, just like the 63% of people that say they want another stimulus check, the majority of the people just went along. They went along. Now they come back and they say, well, yeah, even those face coverings that we were telling you you had to wear, that you didn't have a choice if you wanted to participate in the economy and society. Well, yeah, those really didn't work. They didn't really do anything for you. But, but we're sorry. We're sorry that, that we made you do that. We're sorry that we turned tyrannical. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the purpose of that exercise was not for them to control us. It was for them to take the steps necessary in order to destroy our economy. Because in destroying our economy, they will be able to control us even more. So you take over the schools. You go ahead and start to change the ideology of the children and make them hate themselves, make them not like who they are, who they were born as, make them question their own parents because of the color of their skin. You make people hate each other, just like there's several people out there on YouTube that hate me. I don't know why. Never done anything bad to anyone. All I've ever done is voice my opinion on certain things. And I don't even get political to tell you the truth. But there are some out there because they have hate in their heart. They can't help it. They can't help it. They will always be like this and they will always have hate in their heart and they will live a very bitter life, lives. And then you have the mainstream media that uses their propaganda to tell people, hey, since he doesn't like that we censor people, then we can't like him. Or we can't like people that, that like free speech, that think that free speech is a good way to advance society. Free speech is a good way for people to actually have conversations back and forth and find solutions to advance society. So we can't like this person because he likes free speech or she likes free speech. What's another great way to destroy a nation? Destroy the education system, take it over, make people hate each other, have people hating each other for so many different reasons, have people hating each other because of the color of their skins, have people hating each other because of what political side they're on, have people hating each other because of their socioeconomic status. You're, you have to hate people who actually worked hard and built a business and became wealthy. You have to hate them because you're not wealthy. Instead of telling people, you want to be wealthy, go out there and work hard. You have all the advantages that anyone else has. There's no certain laws that, that keep you from doing anything that anyone else does. If you want it bad enough, you can do it. Get up off your behind and go do it. And if you fail, get up off your behind and try again. And if it takes you 27 times, get up off your behind and try again. Uh, what was, was it? Musk, right? Elon Musk. I, I saw something on Elon Musk where he said that, you remember when he kept crashing those, those uh, rockets, the ones that land back by themselves? Well, I saw him on an interview and he says something like, that third rocket that failed, three rockets in a row failed. He said, would that fourth rocket have failed? SpaceX wouldn't exist today. But he didn't give up. He didn't give up, ladies and gentlemen. 
So we have an institution, we have a government that loves to divide us, that has taken over the education of our children. That's why I tell you all, reteach your children those things that you need to reteach them if they go to a public school. If you want them to carry your morals and your ethics, reteach them those things that you need to reteach them if you have no other choice than to send them to public schools. So they have us hating each other for every possible way that we can hate each other. We have to be divided in order for them to maintain their stance, in order for them to maintain their control. We have to be divided. But people don't understand that. So let's destroy the energy now. Let's destroy the energy, which is what actually makes an economy. And in an economy where, like I said, 99% of small businesses or 99% of businesses are small businesses, mom and pop shops that are owned by the middle class. You want to destroy a country, destroy the middle class. So we have an administration that's pretty much doing everything that's in line with destroying the nation. So how do you destroy a country? Destroy its money. Look at our currency. It's not even currency. It's fiat currency. I'll call it money because almost everyone knows it as money. Destroy its money. Give out those stimmies. Inflate the money supply so that inflation can be rampant. But who cares if inflation is rampant? When most Americans don't even know what inflation is. They only know that it's costing them more of their time to get the same amount of stuff. But they have no, no idea why it is that that's happening. <sighs> Things are going to get very difficult because I don't see an end to this. And you need to prepare. Because there is light at the end of the tunnel. There really is. Good will prevail over evil, ladies and gentlemen. But we are in for a tough road. I didn't even want to make a video like this today. I didn't even want to do a video like this today. I was actually going to take the day off from doing a video. But, you know, you're like my family. You know, I like to talk to you. It's very therapeutic, I guess you can say. And people just need to spread the word. They need to sit down with one another and talk with one another instead of talking at one another. Be willing to cooperate and do some research instead of just sticking to the narrative. Because the narrative is what they want you to know. They want you to know that fossil fuels are terrible. Beautiful. Let's say that they are. What are we going to do to replace them? Please understand this. Fuel is what powers an economy and a society. Without fuel, there is no food. Without fuel, you're not going to get water the way that you normally get water. If that stops, half the people in the United States of America would be gone within a year, I would say, if we have complete shutdown of fuel. Easily. Understand without fuel, there is no America. And I'm sure that those of you that would say, oh, that would be so awesome if there is no America... Ladies and gentlemen, those of you that are following the narrative, right, that are sucking on the government's teeth, those of you are the, going to be the first ones to go. That's what you need to understand. That's what they don't tell you. That's what they don't teach you. Is that when it all hits the fan, those of you that were the most compliant, that went along to get along, you will be the first ones to go. And they're not going to care one damn about you. Our nation is lost, and our nation is being dismantled little by little. And I have to give it to them. I have to give it to the bad side. There is a bad side. They've done a great job. They've done a great job. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all I can say is prepare. Get everything that you need to get. There are there's so many things going on. Once China stops exporting to us, whatever you have is what you have. And for those of you that hate China, and probably for good reasons, I won't get into all of that kind of stuff. But for those of you that hate China, you're going to realize how reliant and dependent on China we are once they stop exporting the stuff to us that we import from them. And let's say that they continue to export to us. The dollar will be demolished 
because that's going to be one of the things that it takes for this government to finally destroy our country, is to destroy the dollar. But I guarantee you this, they will have a system in place to switch over to that will give them total control over your lives. That's what we've got to look forward to. If this continues to take place and they get everything that they want, they'll end up having full control. We live in interesting times. And I would just hope that more people will wake up. But I, I mean, most people will wake up very soon. You know, soon most people will wake up. If not, everyone will wake up. If you think you've been feeling the pain, asking for that stimulus check, you know what? I hope that they do give, give us another stimulus check. No, go ahead. Because the system is not salvageable. The system by which we live today is not salvageable. Like I said, they've done a great job at destroying our nation. And the system, the monetary system, the financial system, the governance system by which we live today is not going to last. It's going to collapse. It's already collapsing. So I wish they do give out those stimulus checks. Because you know what I'm going to do with mine? And I hope you do with yours. Go prepare. Because the sooner they do it, the sooner that it collapses. Those of you that think that free money is free, <laughs> you just wait and see how much that free money is going to cost you down the line. You will live to regret asking for that and taking that and spending that. Because it is you and your children and your children's children who will pay the price for the rest of your lives and their lives. If you're prepared, if you prepare now, you will eventually be able to weather the storm and come out the other side a lot stronger than most will. It just amazes me how many people have fallen for this. It's like, I don't even think that you really need to have such a high education to be able to see what's going on. And what's going on is that our country is being destroyed from within. And I wish that I lived to see the day. And who knows, maybe I will. I wish that I lived to see the day that all of these criminals that are falling in line with all of these institutions that were never elected to power, to see them be tried and prosecuted for the crimes that they've caused to humanity. Not only us here in the United States, but to humanity. So let me finish it with this. Don't, I've said before that you have to be forgiven. You have to be empathetic, forgiving, but never forget. You know what? I think there's a small group of people that I would make an exception to not forgive, nor forget. Because these people, ladies and gentlemen, there will come a day when good will win over evil. And these people, they need to pay the price for what they've done to humanity. You will see what starts happening here. In the next year or two, you won't be able to deny what you see start happening because they won't be able to hide it. And that's going to be very unfortunate, but it'll happen. Other than that, let me go ahead and close it out. Like I said, I didn't really mean to put up a video today, but I just had to put this out there. And, you know, we could hang out for a few minutes. I'm actually working on another video that's a fun video. Hopefully, I'll have that out tomorrow before our live stream, if not after our live stream. And our live stream will be at 9 a.m. tomorrow on Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern time. All right, 9 a.m. Alaska time. Hope to see you there. And for those of you that are in the market for a freeze-dried food, Nutrient Survival is having a flash sale, three-day flash sale that started on Friday and will end tomorrow night, Sunday night at midnight. It's 15% off and you get a few free goodies if you're in the market for it, all right? So you don't need to tell me if you're not, if you're in the market for it. That's why I, you know, advocate with Nutrient Survival to get these codes and stuff like that so that you can save money if you're going to buy it anyway. Other than that, have a great day. God bless every one of you. Bye-bye.